Hi, welcome to Draw Plans. I'm Tom Norris and today we're going to continue with our short tutorials uh, to help you to become an expert at CAD and to work like a pro. Uh, today we're looking at importing a PDF and turning it into plans. So, uh, it's pretty simple but um, if you haven't done it before then it, it'd be a little bit daunting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to import uh, not a PDF but I'm actually going to uh, take a photograph of a PDF and then import it in as a photo. So insert picture from file and this is a photograph of a PDF and there you go. So uh, it's not to scale, so you can't draw from that. So how do we get get it to scale? Well, what we got to do is we got to look at the photograph and determine if what it is we can measure that is reasonably accurate. Like for example, uh, the width of a worktop of a worktop is about six twenty mil. Width of a door is seven six two. So what we're going to do is let's measure on the door and then uh, scale it up and see how it works out. So to do that, what we do is uh, turn off snaps uh, and then get the line tool and just draw a line as to where the door should be and click off. Uh, now, check the line. The line is coming up down here at 1759, but it should be 762. So we type in 762 and the scale changes here. So just copy that and then click off. Now click on the actual photo, back into scaling, control V, control V, hit it. And now we should be close to what we, um, close to the actual scale or size of the image. So let's have a look. The image should be around, this should be around 762. So let's see what it is. It's coming up as 746 so it's about 20 mil out so we're going to do one more uh, attempt to scale and then we I think that'll be about it so uh, the line length is coming up at 751 so we just type in uh, 762 762 you see there's only one one percent out so now you click off of everything, then click the image again and hit paste into the X and the Y and hit return. And now check the number again. Let's just check that measurement again. We can get rid of that one and draw a new one. Uh, that should be close to 762. Now, you never, it's four mil out. You never really get it perfect, um, but in and around, you know, if you're within a 1%, then that's close enough. So just to, sh just to give you an indication, uh, I brought this one in for a project during the week and uh, we actually scaled and came up with these plans uh, from the actual photos. Ground floor, first floor. Uh, those are the PDFs or pictures of the PDF and we turn them into the plants. Now, uh, when a client has uh, PDF files, it may well be possible, uh, if you're doing layout plans, may well be possible to recreate those plans uh, and to make CAD drawings from the PDFs. And that's how we do it. So remember, take a photograph of the PDF. Don't try to bring in a PDF into your model space. Uh, bring the photograph in. Pick on uh, some characteristics. If there was no doors there, I would try the worktop. And I think that would be close enough uh, for me uh, to, get, to, get, to get it to a reasonable size and scale. And once you've got it scaled up, then what we do is we draw a vertical. I'll give you a little example again. What we do now, let's, sorry, this one is scaled up. I'll make a copy of it. And what we tend to do is, now, I start to always start on the inside because their wall thicknesses might be different. So for example, that's the, and then uh, I can come across from here. Now these are the internal. These 
for the internal sizes. So if I use my meet two lines, and that's it. You just drag for the lines, drag the lines across, drag the horizontals and the verticals, and you'll end up with that. And then you pop your up your names in, colour in your walls, add, start adding your detail, but that's actually a, a reasonably tight scale plan. So it's not rocket science, uh, and now you know how to import uh, a PDF or a photo of a PDF and turn it into a CAD drawing. That's brilliant. Uh, hopefully you got some great value out of this lesson. It's a short one, and we're doing loads like this, so keep an eye on our channel. Okay, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.